All right, time to finish the story. It kind of doesn't make sense just, uh, you know, with part one. Yeah. I kind of like left out the karma like aspect to the whole thing. So you have all, whoever's watching this has all the right in the world. Say I'm a dumbass because I, I was a dumbass. There was a time when like the last few days where I just couldn't even hear it because I was so frustrated and I, you know, just everything clicked once I thought about it. So I used to live in a big house where four other people rented a room and she had cameras inside, which I hated, you know what I mean? But that also meant that nobody could possibly go in somebody else's room or there would be really no tinkering of any kind, you know? So I came into this house, this new one, and I got very, very good vibes from pretty much absolutely everybody. And everybody kind of minds their own business and does their own thing. Nobody would ever like go in at someone else's door or things like that. I ended up hanging out with my roommates, so two of them, the ones like next door to me. And it, everything was great. Everything was super chill. And it was really nice because I kind of like got to be a little bit introduced to the house, this and that. I also was uh, giving somebody a lot of information that I wasn't even noticing that I was giving. And the whole time he was scoping me out and I had no idea. It had to have been him. Like I don't even want to like entertain a thought that it wasn't him because I felt like I would be disrespecting myself because of how obvious it was. He doesn't work. And of all the people that I've ever been in these room for rent situations with, every single one of them works. And it's like, there's just kind of this no BS kind of attitude with people who work it's kind of like they can get things on their own they're used to doing things on their own like they don't really need to cut corners like stealing or doing any of this cheap stuff and it's like you don't have anything to do either when you're stuck at home and guess what you have your ego is constantly growing you constantly want new stuff but you can't get any because you're not working but then it's like they don't want to get a job but then they need money and how do they do it they steal or a lot of times people do steal but i pay rent on the second and I go and search around my room and can't find it, you know, immediately think of like every single time that I've had somebody do this to me, it's always been a pretty, a guy who I knew was pretty scummy that has been around me enough to understand my routines and like as sick as it is, he was scoping me out, you know what I mean? So I leave lots of stuff just right around the corner or like, or like even out in the open sometimes. And like when I don't talk to anybody, when nobody knows, most of the time it's left alone, but it's only when somebody knows about it. It's like a friend, which is not really a friend. So, so it was gone. I didn't, even, I didn't say anything to him. My first initial instinct was to do kind of like the silent treatment and then see if anybody brings it up and then trace it back to the source because I would, will not have told anybody. But to me, I just, I'd feel sick if I just don't tell him and it sucks. So I don't want to deal with like the fighting or the arguing or like, I don't want to say hi to him. I don't want to shake his hand. I don't really want anything to do with him. Um, I don't know if he's going to like turn it on me, if he's going to, cause he's manipulative. So like, I'm just trying to break it off. Like I bought him a brand new TV. I gave him a PS4 Pro. I gave him a lot of stuff, you know what I mean? And I, like, I don't think it's screwing him over in any way by not wanting to do anything with him just because I just don't want anything to do with him. I gave him a bunch of shit. I've known him for like a month, you know what I mean? So I just hoping there's no retaliation here because I don't see why there would be. But like another reason is because I lost my phone and he found it like at that day, I kind of seemed like really aloof because my stealing radar wasn't going off with the chick, which I really don't understand why, but with them, to me, it was so, so obvious. They weren't doing the things that they normally do 100%. It was very, very, very obvious. And then like I go and I put a new lock on my door and he doesn't say anything because it would draw attention, unnecessary attention to his issue. But anybody would bring that up. He has such a weird cocky ego. It's just like, I need to break it off and I don't want any, I don't want any communication. I don't want to deal with any of it. And I know how it's going to end for him just because I've, I'm older and I know how, and I'm not going to do anything. I'm just saying, I know how this naturally will come to an end. I've thought about it. So it's just amazing. It's just amazing. And I deserve it. You know, I a hundred percent, I've, I've had lots of really big punches to the gut in the last couple of years, especially with money. And maybe it's just all the karma. I don't know. But another thing is that I a hundred percent, I believe in, if you do a lot of good things, good things happen to you. And if you do a lot of bad things, bad things happen to you. Most people understand that as karma, so I will say that I believe in karma, but I just think generally there's an unseen force that sees absolutely everything, and if you want to do a lot of good things, good things happen to you, 
And if you don't want to do a lot of bad things, bad things happen to you. So I don't have to do anything to him. And I've, I've already understood that. I don't want anything to do with any bad karma, any lying, stealing. I don't want anything to do with any of that. So, um, yeah, I really believe in that. And I really think it's a real thing. And if you're somebody who has these bad tendencies like stealing or just screwing people over, I recommend stopping as soon as you can because if, even if people don't see it, you're not getting away with it. You know what I mean? And man, I just can't believe this. I can't, I can't believe, I can't believe this. And like, I would do the same thing this guy was doing too. I would literally take something big, ruin the whole situation, the whole like trust. Like it's, it's, it's a sick thing. I couldn't never be friends with him. Like I would be one of my friends that we've never had this issue with. Like there's no going back from this kind of behavior and it's unfortunate. And it's weird because I actually got past it. Like you could trust me with any, like I don't want to take any, I don't want to take anything from anybody. You could leave anything at my house or whatever. I, I just literally do not want it. So it's like somehow I came around, I don't understand. Um, and I was really bad. I had really bad issues. I'd even take from family. And it's like, it's sick for me to even think about that. And that was just like, it was like an addiction. You know what I mean? And like, I'm so glad that I got past that because I don't think I could have any real healthy relationships if that was going on. And I think I would pretty much take it, you know, do that from with everybody. And that's just, it makes me sick. There's just this one incident. I'm just so disgusted. And it's like, I used to do this. Like, it's, it's terrible. I've never talked about this on this channel, but. You know, I've tried to talk to my friends about it and I can't even get past, like I'm trying to say like, oh, I had all these issues. And then I, I literally can't get past that. They're like, oh, were you, were, you, were you stealing stuff from my house? Like, do I gotta watch you now? And I'm like, okay, well, sh just shut up. Like, I, I'm trying to get to the point where like, literally like, I'm probably the most trustworthy person. Like, I know trustworthy people who would maybe take a little something here and there, you know, if it, if it was easy, you know what I mean? But not me. That's been Thieves and Karma part two just kind of like a full circle thing can't believe the situation i can't believe how it all ended um yeah i still have yet to talk to him it's gonna be like it's something i'm dreading because i don't think it's gonna go super easy but hopefully it does and like he has narcissistic tendencies which means he's going to kind of retaliate and try to basically burn the house down if he ever gets kicked out if he ever leaves so Hopefully we can kind of like neutralize him or back off or kind of get him to think we're not engaging and just kind of back out. So anyways, part two, let me know what you think of these stories. Let me know what you think of karma in general. Let me know what you think of thieves. You probably hate them just as much as I do. I can't stand them. And I don't know why I was ever one. It's hard to admit that I was, but you know what? I got to say it and uh, I'm probably getting what I deserve. Hopefully it's the last part though. Hopefully it's the last thing. <laughs>